Let's take you across to Chennai, where protesters have gathered at the Marina Beach to protest against the ban on Chalikato. In fact, the protesters include mostly students as well as techies who demand that this ban be lifted. Let's go across to our deputy editor, Priyamada, who's joining us from the Marina Beach. Thousands of people, we can see a Priyamada thronging around you. This protest is turning to be very serious. Well, we'll try and reconnect with Priyamada. As you can see, it's intensified these protests to try and get the ban lifted on Jalikato. In fact, the students took to protests after 30 people were arrested in Madurai district. In fact, the protesters have also demanded a ban on PETA. PETA, remember, is the organization, People for uh, Protection of Animals, is the one which has been fighting uh, to impose this ban on Jalikato. Well, these are the latest visuals which are coming in. Remember, Marina Beach has emerged as the place uh, where all the protests are being spearheaded. This in order to get the traditional Jalikato being restored. Remember, the Supreme Court in its order had said that it was un inhumane to continue with this tradition, saying that uh, he, this kind of a cruelty cannot be justified in the name of tradition. In fact, this is a report shot, uh, filed a short while back by Priyamada Maikoli from the Marina Breach with the protesters. Almost all the college students in, the Chenna, in Tamil Nadu have gathered here. There is large support here demanding that PETA should be banned and Jalikattu should be conducted. Most of them are college students and techies who have come here and uh, they are demanding that Jalikattu cannot be banned. In fact, let's go across and ask, uh, so what are your main demands now? See, we want to uh, remove the ban for Jalikattu. We want to remove the ban for Jalikattu and our government is not supporting us. So we want our government to uh, talk to us and uh, remove the ban. See, we don't want to talk to, apart from you. There's a bit of anger as well against the media that they have, uh, uh, but then all that they are, all that they are saying is uh, that the, uh, the ban should be lifted and Jallikattu should be conducted. That is what they are demanding. So we are hearing slogans against the chief minister. Has the chief minister called you all for talk? Not only chief minister, our prime minister, Supreme Court judges, all about them. We are a Tamilans. We are ashamed to say we are Indians. Okay. We are lost our identity, our place, like Sri Lankan government and now our Tamil project. It's a delicate, it's a 4,500 years festival about our Tamilans. But uh, the government will say it's uh, like, uh, yeah. Do you, don't you think there is cruelty towards animals and bulls? You're all youngsters, but you have come to support Jallikar to explain to us about what happened. Yeah. No, how are you saying it, it's a cruelty? I don't know, because it is my, our tradition, okay? Okay, they don't want to talk to the media. I think it's a unanimous decision by all these youngsters saying that they don't want to talk to the media. They don't want to interact with the media. You just saw this boy was talking to us and he was prevented. All of them said, do not talk to the media. So that's what we are seeing here. The anger that is being spilt over on the streets of Chennai where they do not want to interact with the media. They are demanding the delicate should be uh, conducted and the ban should be lifted. Well, in fact, let's go across live to Marina Breach. Priyamada is joining us. Uh, if Priyamada, if you can hear me, I was asking you earlier about how it seems this agitation has now also spilled into anger, the angst that we can see amongst the youth, even the national media being targeted the way you have. Absolutely. We can see the, we can sense the anger here on the ground. If I can ask my video journalist to show you the visuals of how these protests are happening. Massive crowd here at the Marina Beach. They are getting support from the actors, the film fraternity, 
All of them have gathered here and are demanding that PETA should be banned. You are hearing slogans against Tamil Nadu Chief Minister O. Paneer Selvam, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and PETA. Abusive, in fact, some of them are even using abusive language. Uh, the media persons were not allowed to stay there, uh, national media especially. We then had to come to a safer place to report this because they started verbally abusing us as well. In fact, I am joined by Prasanna who is also one of the protesters. Prasanna, we understand the anger, we understand you're all fighting for Jallikattu, but is this the right way to protest? Is this how the anger should be expressed? Uh, see, the, the issue here is twofold. One second, one second, one second. The issue here is twofold. One, the media channels has to understand that it took five days for everyone to get this attention. See, I, I still remember because I, I was watching the news channel, I see that international media have been sent back by the people and I wanted to come and voice it on behalf of them. Understand one point that during, during the 2015 Chennai pledge, when there was less amount of coverage from the local channel, it was the national media channel who came in. Yes, I agree, they all came late. But uh, one request that I want to put it to your guys is, please don't take two or three days to look into our issue. If the if issue is starting from uh, on the day one, I would expect the media to come over here. At the same time, I want to make a request to all the guys out here. See, if you resend, if you send the national channel back home, then there is no possibility that you know, we can get any sort of a help. You want, only the central government can look into this issue and make, or make any sort of uh, an action to be done. And if we are not cooperative to the national channels, and I don't think so, who else can help? Just by standing over here shouting and protesting is not going to be helpful. We want this, thing, this issue to come down to a closure. We have our own works. We have to get back. At the same time, we want the central government to act. But for that, we need their help. I understand. I apologize on behalf of all of us. This is not the way to be handled. But please don't lose your focus. We need your help. Please get this attention. Uh, you know, seek out to the, all the central government officers or make it, make it as a national-wide issue. And that's when this will uh, you know, bring down to a closure. So what are your demands right now as far as Jallikattu? Because the issue is in the Supreme Court. So what are your demands? What do you think the state and the central government can do? The first and foremost that we are expecting is ask some central government uh, or a state government, let them come down to have a talk, let them come and ask us what is the problem. The first thing is foremost, we all felt that our, our culture is being completely, you know, uh, completely, you know, faded away from our own minds and this is not what we want to happen. If the Jallikat is a problem, if the PETA is the one which is opposing, because I see a lot of uh, arguments on the social forum, what people are expecting is we will have a representative from our own, uh, you, you know, the, the Jallikattu, people who are supporting the Jallikattu will have a common man to have a, a, to have a debate with a person from the PETA, let some meaningful argument debate happen, and post which we want central government to look into what is the thing. See, if all the people have left their work and come over here for a particular issue, it is a matter of pride and this we feel like it is more important. So, we want the Jallikattu ban to be revoked and let, let there be regulations to handle how, how in the best possible way it can be not delivered. That's what is most expected. And what is your next step as a student movement? We are seeing a lot of students who have come here. What is the next move? Have you been called for talks by the state government? What is the next step that you're all looking at? Frankly, I have not been part of this uh, protest from yesterday, so I don't have any uh, rights to talk about this. But what I feel is this crowd lacks a leader. This crowd definitely lacks a leader to organize everything. I can see that one crowd shouting in another way and another crowd, you know, protesting in another way. This particular crowd needs a proper leader to organize and then cohesively put the uh, request to one person and let that one person take it in charge. I see that a lot of celebrities, a lot of people, you know, actively passing out their comments, but I'm expecting one person to come down over here, handle this crowd, and, and I seriously expect all of you guys to behave in a very mature way. We, every nation, I mean, all the other states have got massive respect for the people out there in Tamil Nadu, and we should respect the journalists who have come out here. Let's not manhandle them, let's not behave in a rude way. So uh, I think one person should take up the initiative. Probably I'll try to have a, a word with the, the main people who are doing the protest, and I'll come, come back to you with an answer. So we are seeing that they are still waiting. Yesterday, in fact, the state government tried to hold talks with them, but the talks did not take place, is what we are hearing. But even today, now, uh, this, will be, this is becoming a law and order issue because this uh, entire road is getting blocked. Of course, the police have contained them to one place, but we are seeing that the crowd is slowly swelling. Many educational institutions, uh, they have come here. You are seeing uh, law college students have come here. Uh, almost all the educational institutions have come here. If I may ask this uh, gentleman to come and show what he has to uh, say. Sir, for last, in 2014, Jallikattu was banned. Yeah. 
but you all never raised your voice then. So what makes you raise your voice now? See, uh, we we had a hope on the Supreme Court as well as the governments that they would bring forward a legislation regarding this Delhi Gutter. But nothing has happened in these two years. We had utmost faith on our uh, legislature as well as the judiciary to do it. But nothing turned out to be uh, productive for us. Now we think that only people's protest will take this mo uh, movement forward. If not now, then never. That's what is our... You're a law college student. You understand this case is in the Supreme Court. So what can anything be done legally? You cannot <coughs> defy Supreme Court. So correct, right. So Subramanian Swami is fighting a case for us. At the same time, our right to protest is also a part of our right. So we have come to know, make sure our right is also and our voice is heard. We are not participating directly in the Jali Kattu. By the same time, our cultural right cannot be extinguished from us. You can see that all these youngsters here are saying that their cultural rights cannot be taken away. It's a Tamil pride and they want to fight for it. But here at this forum, I also want to ask you all, there is farmers issue. In Tamil Nadu, so many farmers have committed suicide. But we are seeing passion only for Jali Kattu. Is this being whipped up by the politicians and fringe elements? No, this is the first step we are taking forward as a student's movement. We think that okay. we will come together for every other issue that the politicians or the parliamentarians do not take up to the forum. We, the people, are bringing these issues to the fore so that we are bringing the people's movement together. So you can see that they are saying right. that this is a people's movement, this is the beginning and they will continue with the protest right. on various issues. We'll keep tracking the developments there. As you can see, these protests are only swelling in size. The protesters have been increasing. We expect these protests to continue for the whole day today. Priya Mada, of course, is there getting us the very latest. We leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us. Chandikattu, still a burning issue for the Tamil pride.